This is a Star News Brief. I'm Samuel Otino. Nine key issues filtered by the Supreme Court will on Monday determine who between Raila Odinga and William Ruto carries the day after a fortnight of protracted legal war. At the center for determination is whether IBC election technology was compromised to aid rigging for Ruto as claimed by the petitioners. Raila has alleged that Venezuelans accessed IBC servers multiple times in an elaborate rigging plot that involved IBC chairman Wafula Chabukati. Get a copy of The Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings through www.mgazetti.com. President-elect William Ruto has asked Kenyans to accept the verdicts that will be delivered by the Supreme Court on the election petition that challenged his victory. Ruto said Kenya is governed by the law and the decision by the Apex Court on Monday should be respected and accepted by all parties involved in the case. As new leader Raila Odinga has exuded confidence that the Supreme Court would deliver a sound judgment on his petition challenging William Ruto's presidential election victory. Speaking ahead of the ruling expected Monday, the former Prime Minister said he believes in the cause of justice and its Kenyans who will triumph in the long run. Raila spoke after a closed-door meeting with a section of Meru leaders who paid him a visit to disown the defection of former Governor Kiraitu Murungi to the Ruto team. Melvin Ngure, 19, was carrying his childhood friend Ibrahim Moshira, 20, at the back of his motorcycle when the two met their death via a police bullet in Mailisaba area of Njiru in Nairobi on July 18th. Moshira, who had just recently moved out of their house and rented a single room in the area, held a television which would cost the two their lives. Nairobi Police Commander James Mugera claimed the two were killed in a botched robbery as they tried to escape on a motorcycle. Since he was a child, Isaac Wanjala had a disturbing habit of wandering off and staying away from home in Bungoma for long periods, as long as a year. This time after he was missing for about three years, his family in Kimilili constituency assumed the worst that he was dead. It was his longest ever disappearance. The family mistakenly buried a murder victim thinking it was Isaac. Get a copy of The Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings through www.mgazetti.com.